welcome guys uh poly popo here and what i want to show you guys today is something really really cool with the mpc of course and it's to do with the grid editor uh i never really utilize it and there's still so many things that i have to learn but i like to do one thing at a time and run it as far into detail as possible um as far as finger drumming and stuff i'm gonna have to get a little more practice on that uh, setting specific pads to different loops and to see how I exactly like to to lay out my drums but uh, yeah it's a technique in its own just like sampling and all that good stuff but on the grid editor um, I was kinda stuck and I didn't really know where to go so I just kinda hit the grid editor and I'll show you in just a second and I, by the end of the video you'll know everything about the grid editor so just hang on a second um, but I didn't know where to go, so I just hit random, and it gave me a bunch of random for eight bars or four bars. It gave me different patterns. So I liked one pattern, so I was able to, you know, cut the ones that I didn't and then copy the one that I did. So it gave me the same pattern that I wanted. But then I started messing with the start and end points, and the start and end points on the MPC affected the sound of... Uh, my synthesizer. I'm just going to use the MPCX in standalone mode right now. I'm not going to hook up any modules or anything. I want to see if it affects the sound the same way. And uh, it's a great way to just instantly get inspired uh, to just take something that's given to you and to make the best out of that situation. If that was the only, if someone said, okay, this is what we're making, or if you go into um, a recording studio and, a, and, a, and an artist says this is the sound that I want you have to work with that specific sound so it's a great way to dive out of your comfort zone and into some crazy uh, new sounds so I want to show you this guys uh, if you're new to the channel please like and share um, subscribe and I do uh, I do appreciate you guys for watching so let's get in here and I want to show you this is really really cool stuff all right and if you have any questions uh, at the end of the video, just leave it in the comments. And, um, yeah, uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out. But right on, guys. Let's get in here and check this out. This is really, really awesome. I'll do the outro. Alright guys, so check this out. I really hope you think you find this as useful and think this is as cool as I do. Because um, like I said, I had beat block there for a minute. I didn't know where to go. So I'm going to go and just pick a, a plug-in. And I like these bells. Um, just happen to like the sound. And it's like, I don't know what to play. You know, I could go on my keyboard and I could play something, but... Say I played 50 songs that one day, you know, which is outrageous. Say you played five songs that one day, and you're just stuck in that same, that same rhythm. You want to switch it up. All I did was again, the I hit the pencil on main on track zero one, and on my plugin, I selected electric, went to bells, and I hit my pencil right here, and I want to hit generate random events pattern size bars I'm just gonna go let's say I'm gonna go I'm gonna keep it at eight bars just just we're gonna leave everything stop now you can hit up and down on here all day long and it's only gonna do that you need to grab the screen and pull it up and you got these different options you want your scale to be exactly a major let's say we want it to be a blue scale it gives you all these different options so I want the blue scale. I'm going to hit apply and do it. And it, it, it already did it. I'm at 8 bars. And now you, I'm at my grid editor. I'm at my 8 bars. And I hit the grid over here. Now I got my grid. I select this. This way I can minimize it. Now it's going to sound like a whole bunch of different stuff. Now your job 
right here is to be able to select one of these or two of these that you like. And if not, you can always delete a note or add a different note. Just by zooming in, I mean, I don't like this note or I want this to be there. It kind of helps generate a, a little idea. But what I want to show you is this. Check this out. Ugh. Jesus. All right. So let's say we're going to hit play and just listen to the whole thing real quick. Okay, so we got all those different random, we are one big random. So what I want to do is I want to select the first one because I like the first one. I don't, I don't really want it to be, I want to use that first one and be able to play over it more than one bar. So I'm going to select all of these. Make sure you select them all. Okay, I'm at. And I'm going to see it right here. It doesn't give you an option. But on the MPC, there's a shift button right here. Uh, hopefully, I got this set up right. You hit shift, and then you can cut these. I'm going to cut all that. And this right here, we're going to select it again. And we're just going to paste it. Hit shift and paste. Wait. Cut. Sorry. Shift, copy. Now then shift, paste. And with a jog wheel, we'll move it over. And I know this is pretty basic, but you can do this with samples. This is how you pitch up and down your drums, your samples, whatever's on your piano roll. So it's really, really a good technique. Meaning, let me copy this a few more times because I want four bars, right? I want to show you four different variations of the first sequence. Uh, yeah, so check this out. I'm going to paste it again. Make sure it's in the right place. And then paste it one more time. Okay, cool. Now we got a clean little, uh, a nice little, little pattern. And if you want to go further, you can copy the whole thing and copy and then paste it. So now we have eight bars. Cool. And still, there's more. This is just basic stuff right here. Um, what I want to show you is we're just going to listen to one bar because they're all the same. That's why I love the Q links is you can grab these top Q links and just be like, I want to listen to uh, the third bar or the first bar. We're going to listen to the first bar. That sounds pretty good. Uh, okay, now we're going to listen to four bars. Even though we have a, we're only going to use four. I'm going to select these again. This is the cool part, okay? The nudge. I'm going to move these over just to the right a little bit. But to make it start exactly where it was, see it was on the second block, now it's like on the fifth. I'm going to edit my start point on these. So I'm going to select these, edit my start point to where it matches up right there but now listen to the variation that it did Let me go back to the beginning now listen first two bars let's see and if you wanted to transpose those say if you wanted to play it from this note right here you just move it right up there and you got your next octave of note did you hear the little slight difference so what we're gonna do now and this is all random and we just took one little random beautiful melody I'm gonna edit the endpoint on this one real wacky 
and this one real tight and my start point super tight and this one my edit end point super long and then I'll mess with those two end point and then that one I'll leave alone so now we have eight Yeah, man. And it's just a really cool way. I don't have the volume on this turned up. Um, But I could probably play something over this here real quick just to show you that it's a good way to get your, your stuff going. Let's get main. And really I hope that I hope that really helped you guys out. Uh, again, all we did was we went to track one, hit a plugin, we selected the plugin, the sound, hit the pencil, generated uh, random events. You can just go one bar, but I, I recommend eight. This way you get different variations. You'd be like, oh, I like that one. And all I have to do is delete one note, you know, or add another note. And it's really, really powerful. So uh, I'd highly recommend doing that. And then um, I hit generate random events, and that was it, man. We went to the grid editor, copied the first one, and then we made eight different variations of the first one. And it's just a very, very cool, powerful uh, way to use the grid editor. So I'm going to go to track two. Add a plugin and uh, see if I can make a little song out of here. Let's see. I do appreciate you guys for watching this. Alright, cool. So, uh, really, again, guys, I really hope you learned something here. Um, again, it's something really, really powerful to utilize whenever you're stuck, you got beat block, or you just don't know where to start. This just opens up the gates for you and puts you in an automatic I have to do stuff and manipulate stuff. And it's like a little puzzle and it's fun. So, uh, again, any questions or anything like that, you can do the same thing with your drums. Um, any of your samples inside of the uh, grid editor. So, right on. I'll hold you guys later. Any feedback's good feedback, so I'll, I do appreciate it. I'll hold you guys later.